Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that yesterday I posted a photograph of me holding up a product that had just been delivered through my door and I looked rather excited about it. And today I'm still rather excited about it. This is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro product. It is brand new. We're gonna be testing this out today, seeing how it applies. So if you are interested in finding out my thoughts and opinions about this product, then please keep watching. Okay, so let me just show you the packaging. This is the front, perfectly pleasant, and on the back there are some step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually apply the product properly, which I think is a great idea. Let me just get the product out and show you how it looks. Now this makes me very excited because this is one of those pushy uppy downy pens, you know, the ones that you used to get when you were at school, blue, red, green, and black, and you used to be able to write in all different colors. Have done a review on a product from Revolution. I will link that up here for you if you haven't seen that already, but these type of products make me very nostalgic and very excited. So I absolutely love this. This just makes me smile straight away. Let's just do some bump on this product. Okay, so this is from Benefit and it is the Brow Contour Pro. It's £28.50 in the UK and $34 in the US. And I know in the US you can get this from Ulta. In the UK, this is exclusive to Boots until Saturday when I believe it's the national release date. You can only get this until Saturday from Boots Online. Personally, if you can wait, I would wait until Saturday so you can actually go into store and be tested for your actual shade because the shade range on the Boots website isn't that accurate. So personally, I would wait until at least Saturday when you can go in and get your perfect shade match. So this is a four in one defining and highlighting brow pencil. You've got these little clicky uppy downy things which I absolutely love and this comes in five different shades. I have the shade two. So the first shade is light blonde, the second shade is light brown, the third shade is light brown black, the fourth shade is medium brown and the fifth shade is deep brown black. This is a blendable formula so I'm thinking that this is going to be quite a soft product and 20 women have said that this is definitely waterproof. So most of your Benefit Brow products range from £19 to £24. They're all around about the $24 mark in the US. So this is a little bit of a bargain if you get enough products, but we'll see how long the product lasts for and I will continuously use this and let you know when it runs out. Obviously that might be a few months from now, so keep your eye on the description box and I will always put an update in the description box to tell you how I'm getting on with the actual product itself. So let's get some of this on. Okay, so let me just show you the colors that you get. That is the light brown shade, which you would do from the start of your brow all the way up to the arch. And then you've got the darker brown shade, which you do from the arch to the wing. And then you have the definition shade, which you would go all the way around your brow with and just define the brow. And then the highlighter shade, which you can put anywhere you like, so more under the brow or just maybe at the edges of the brow just to highlight that even more. So at the moment I'm used to using quite a stiff product which is really really easy to get those little fine hairs on. So we'll see if a softer product is actually as easy to use. I'm gonna go in and push down the lightest brown shade which is what they say you use at the front of the brow up to the arch. And I'm just gonna start drawing in the little hairs how I would normally do it. Okay, so I am quite surprised at how dark this colour actually is, considering it's only number two in the entire spectrum of colours that they have available to buy. I never ever go for a blonde shade because I don't have blonde eyebrow hairs and usually if I do go for a blonde shade eyebrow pencil, it looks a bit yellowy or orangey on my skin and it just doesn't look good at all. But I am now thinking perhaps I should have gone for the blonde shade rather than the number two, which is the light brown. Because the next shade is gonna be a lot darker than this and 
Not sure how that's gonna look. Anyway, the product itself has gone on really, really nicely. It's a very, very soft product, so you hardly need any pressure when you're using the strokes at all. So a very, very light hand, and the product goes a really long way. So let's go for the darker shade to do from the arch downwards. I'm really, really happy with that. It's a really, really soft product, so you only need a very, very light hand and a little product goes a really, really long way. So the only thing that this product is actually missing is a little spoolie, but there is nowhere on here to actually put a spoolie. So I have loads of them, they're to a penny, it doesn't really matter. But that's blended in really, really nicely. So let's try the definer. Now this is something I wouldn't generally do. This is a step that I usually skip. I've got to say, I'm not really into that Instagram brow look. I prefer a more natural look, so this is something that I'm not used to doing, but it does tidy it up a lot. So if you are into a really clean looking brow, then this is great. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a little soft brush. This is a the 230 Lux Pencil Brush by Zoeva, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit so it's not too harsh just to soften that a little bit. Then we're gonna go into the highlighting shade, which is very pale. And I'm just gonna do under the actual wing. I'm not gonna go too far down here because I just don't like that sort of look, but if that's what you decide to do, then fair enough. And then again, I'm just gonna blend that out using the Lux Pencil 230 brush by Zoeva just so it's not too harsh. So what do you think? I actually quite like this. This is not a look that I'm going to be doing on a daily basis because I've got two kids in a school run and really, I just don't have time. But for an evening look, for something that I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on my makeup, I actually quite like this defined look. I didn't think I was going to, but I do think it's really nice and the product itself is lovely, really, really soft, a little goes a long way, and it's really, really quick to do, which I didn't think it would be. So I really, really like this product. I'm gonna do the other brow and I'll be right back. Okay, so in conclusion, I really, really like this product. Now, I absolutely love reviewing brand new products. It's why I love best. So I was really excited to get my hands on this but I honestly did not think that I would like this as much as I do because I'm not into that Instagram brow look. I go for a more natural look, but you can create that with this as well, no problems. And for 28.50 or $34 in the US, I think this is really good value for money because you are getting four products in one. And I've said numerous times in this video it's a really, really soft formula, so a little goes a really long way. And as long as you're light-handed with this product, I've got a feeling this is gonna last quite a long time. I am a little bit disappointed with the shade. This is too dark for me, and it's only number two in the spectrum of five shades that you can get. And I've never, ever gone for a blonde shade. But it just reiterates what I said right at the beginning of the review. If you can wait, wait until you can go into store and actually get your proper shade match because the shade range on the websites aren't a great reflection of what they actually come out like on the brow. But I really, really like this. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm always eager to get your comments, whether they're negative ones or positive ones, they are all welcome. So I hope you found this review helpful in some way. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, I am also on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you want to follow me on there as well. Just search for Pampered Wolf. My Instagram is a lot more personal. We'll show you insights into my personal life as well as the whole makeup world. I'm not very good at putting stuff on it at the minute, but I am getting a lot better. So do follow me on there as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, there is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.